The only remaining transfer stability concept we need to discuss is the angle of lull. How a vessel finds stability at the angle of lull when she actually is unstable in the upright position can be a bit confusing. To start out with, let's look at this video. Here we see a ship coming down the ways and as she's launched, everyone appears to be happy and it's been uh, majorly refurbished, reconstructed, I guess. But over she goes. Notice that she doesn't capsize entirely. She finds stability at an angle and it's quite a considerable angle as you can see. She's found stability at the angle of lull, but she will not be stable in the upright position. Now let's be clear that angle of lull is not neutral equilibrium. Angle of lull is not a list. Angle of lull actually can only be found after the vessel has gone through a sequence of events that we've already discussed. A rise in the center of gravity. We go through neutral equilibrium. We go to negative stability in the upright position. In other words, when G is above the metacenter. And then, so long as our ship has certain attributes, the ship may start to capsize, but will find stability at the angle of lull. Now we're going to wrap up this session with a chat on lull, the angle of lull, how a vessel finds stability in an angle when she is actually unstable in the upright position. This is not to be confused with list or with neutral equilibrium. It is not that. It's a separate thing. But to understand it fully, we need to go through the process on how it actually we end up in that state. First of all, let's just say we set sail. Whoops. Here's my vessel in a stable condition. M, G, B. Let's just say she's a tender ship. You fuel the ride up. But as you proceed on your long voyage, you burn fuel from down low. We know it's going to happen to a weight discharged. G is going to rise. So the vessel may end up in a position of neutral equilibrium. G and M on the same spot. You might go a few miles and not even realise it if the sea is calm. And once G rises above M, I'll put M down here because I'm running out of room. There's G, there's M, and there's B. Grab my bag. We're unstable. The ship is going to experience a negative GZ. She's going to start capsizing. But if your vessel is of a design whereby as the ship starts to incline, the beam at the waterline can increase as the vessel starts going over, such as in a box-shaped vessel that is loaded low, then not that I'm drawing a box shaped vessel here, but you might achieve an angle of lull, which may just save you in the end, like the video we just saw. Here is the meta center, and here is G, there is B acting up, G acting down, negative GZ, the vessel is continuing that and is now capsizing. But the metacenter only stays put on its centre line at small angles of inclination of heel. So about seven degrees or under the metacenter doesn't move, but over that, and when the beam of the vessel starts to increase or decrease, the metacenter starts to wander around a bit and stability becomes more complex. So what we do know in these basic diagrams is that the metacenter will actually, in this case, at an angle of, let's just say, greater than 15 degrees, the metacenter will move to a position higher and off the center line, and we're going to call that MO. So it's not there anymore, it's risen and gone off the center line. Now, G, remember, rose as well. It was previously above M, but M, which was here, just went a little bit higher and positioned itself above G. 
Now, remember, buoyancy is under here. Everything comes back into alignment. It's like the meta center's just gone for a little wander to save your ship, hopefully. And M, G, and B are all in a line. Again, I stress, can you see the difference between this and list? List would mean that G is off the center line somewhere, but it's not. G has just risen, risen, risen through poor management, has risen until it gets to a point above M. The ship begins to capsize. She goes past a certain angle, and the meta center moves. The meta center goes above G. In reality, it's a very small shift above G, but it's off the center line and above G. So we have M, G, B all in a line again, and the ship has achieved an angle of lull, or stability at the angle of lull. Can she have a GZ lever? Yes, and as you saw in that video, which we'll play again now, watch the ship as she comes down the ways, she settles in the water, and you can almost sense that she's not happy. And over she goes. And notice that she goes a little bit past the angle of lull, a GZ lever occurs, and brings her back upright. But notice how close it is. That is a very small GZ lever. And if there were people on board that vessel, imagine them all running up to the high side and the vessel tips over the other way. What do you think would happen then? Well, the inertia of the vessel, of course, rolling through, let's just say that's a 500 ton ship, over she goes and 500 tons with inertia, the tendency for it to want to continue its state of motion, she's going to blast straight through that GZ lever and capsize. So a ship before the angle of lull is going to be unstable in the upright position. We can see that from this diagram. She will achieve stability at the angle of lull and the diagram looks like this. Meta center has moved up above G and slightly off the center line to bring them all into alignment. How we manage this? Well, you might think it's a list, but if you're not sure and you suspect lull, you should always assume lull. How do we fix this situation? We need to lower G. We can lower G by discharging weight up high or adding weight or ballast down low onto the lulled side, not onto the high side, that's going to be catastrophic. So if we add weight down here, we reduce G, or we lower G, so that when the vessel comes back into the upright position and M resumes its position on the center line where it was designed to be in the upright position, we should have stability because we have lowered G. But of course, easier way to surmise that is to turn the lull into a list and then deal with the list. Think of it that way.